Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1975 and welcome to another Fat Friday video a series of videos where I take a look at some of the more interesting things you can find to eat in the high street what do I have to eat this week well basically um, there's a reason behind why I have these I have Iceland's fully loaded chicken kebab fries um, layered with a uh, seasoned chicken chili sauce carrot and red red cabbage slaw in a creamy garlic sauce and mozzarella cheese 510 grams anyone who's watched uh, my series of videos before will know that i've had a few of these um on a couple of occasions and for the most part they are actually pretty pretty good i have my mouth's gone already my mouth's gone already it's frozen but pavlov's dogs uh, I haven't experienced this or tried many of the second batch of these, which are why it says new because we are in the second batch of these. So I thought I'd give these a go and there is a reason. I have tried the buffalo chicken and waffles one. That was surprisingly good. These are £3.50. It's, it's a tad dear, but they are 510 grams. If you pick it up, you could fill an absolute, you know, chunk there. There is some weight there. There is some weight there. I've had the Frank's hot sauce chip one. That was absolutely fantastic. That was a two chili rating. This is a two chili rating. Does anyone watch this series of videos? No, I don't generally get out of bed for anything less than three chilies. But these are fries. I love chips, fries, chips. Uh, I love loaded fries. So I will make an exception for those. What else have I tried? I've tried their all day breakfast one. I didn't review that one because it was absolutely horrible. That's because... My mouth's still gone. As much as I like all day breakfast, it doesn't really bode itself into a loaded fries ready meal. I tried loaded fries from a couple of other places, such as Farm Foods. Their chili beef one was pretty good. Uh, I've tried the McCain Street fries. They were right. The ones from I also from Iceland are uh, their TGI Friday loaded fries. Their chili beef one's pretty good, and their chicken, um, sorry, their cheese and bacon warrior fries are absolutely fantastic. I really am dying here. Safe to say I am a fan of loaded fries and with the exception of the all day breakfast, quite a fan of this series of fries. Anyway, this morning, round about 11 o'clock, when I was out and about buying my stuff for food for the week, bottles of Lucas Aid and things uh, like that, uh, for food for the week at work, I should say. I thought, uh, someone said, have you tried Burger King's loaded fries? What? I say. Burger King have loaded fries. Yes, they have two uh, loaded fries. So I googled it on my phone and it's in their new section uh, on their website and they have loaded cheese fries. Loaded is such a strong descriptive term for what they are. And loaded cheese and bacon fries. So I looked in there and it said £3.50 for an extra big portion of fries either topped with cheese sauce or cheese sauce and bacon bits. Remember that, bacon bits. I'm definitely hungry now, but that's for this and not for those. So I tried one and uh, I wasn't going to review it. I was going to review it, but then when I bought it, <clears throat> excuse me, hiccups. Oh, don't kick in now. These bad boys never leave me. Um, it came in a little container like that, like a little cardboard box like that. And since I could stand there and see how they made them, and um, basically part of the magic is lost if you could see how they make stuff. Because we knew it wasn't going to be gourmet, but the, um, the girl behind the counter just squirted in the cheese sauce, which was room temperature cheese sauce, so it's not heated or anything like that. And then uh, sprinkled on dried bacon bits. And the magic was gone. The illusion was lost. If you go to Millie's, and I will you know, defend these, these are amazing. They're totally worth the money. Don't know if they still do it, but get their chili cheese fries. They're a fantastic, fantastic... Um, meal basically it's their chip well it's fries but it's not because miss Smitty's fried chips because you know well they're English <laughs> kinda <laughs> um, yeah they dump chips in uh, and then they ask if you want jalapenos and they spring jalapenos on then they go up to literally like an ice cream mr. whippy machine and hot cheese sauce comes out and then if you ask really nicely they throw more jalapenos fantastic um, 
I almost wish I couldn't see Burger King make them. So then I sat there and thought, these are ridiculous. £3.50 for a box like that and the cheese sauce is only warm because the fries are hot. Which is a shame because this had so much potential because Burger, Burger King... Burger King. <laughs> but no, it is Burger King. Burger King fries. I'm, I'm lost because I'm starving. Burger King fries are the best. And yeah, it's just like this. Mmm. Mmm. Shit. Shit. I was utterly disappointed. Normally I'm quite a fan of um, Burger King. The bacon bits are like when you buy bacon bits off the baking aisle in like a little plastic tub. Technically, at some point in their life, they were bacon. Um, I mean, you were never going to get chunks of bacon, but I don't see why not, because Burger King has burgers with bacon on them. But anyway, long story short, mouth's still gone for these and the talk of uh, um, the chili cheese jalapeno fries from Millie's. Certainly not for that thing for Burger King, which is £3.50 and no bigger than a normal portion of fries. And I'm pretty sure you don't pay £3.50 for a large portion of fries in Burger King. I was pissed off. I was still hungry uh, and I felt the need for loaded fries. So there was an Iceland there and I went into Iceland, looked up all their loaded fry meals. The other one I had, which I had for my um, 100th uh, Fat Friday video special was their Carolina Reaper loaded fries. Mwah. And hot. They're epic. Thoroughly recommend them. I recommend most of them. Just go for my video list and see the ones you know I've done. They're all good. The Frank Hot Sauce one is up there with my favourite ones. Hopefully this will be as hot as that. But yeah. So Anyone who knows me knows, I'll get to the point in a minute, I'll get to the start of this video, that I love loaded fries, and so I was pissed off. So, um, it's now what, one o'clock-ish, somewhere around there, and uh, my tape on Robert, he says hello, and myself are very, very hungry. So, we're going to have this bad boy. Before I read the ingredients, I'm taking the top off to read the ingredients, because, uh, yeah, I don't like when all the toppings fall off and stuff like that. So I'll try and show it to you. We'll get a better look downstairs because as always I do this video, this series of videos in real time. Um, but yeah, it definitely looks like the chicken is seasoned. And I can certainly see um, coleslaw, which um, I don't think I've ever had on a kebab. I'm a massive fan of kebabs, massive fan of kebabs. I do prefer chicken kebabs. I think it's safe to say that... Um, they would never do a lamb kebab one of these because it would be too expensive. But yeah, haven't had a kebab in absolutely ages. I think after curry, kebabs on a Friday night are technically, well, basically after curry, they are the second um, biggest selling fast food item in this country. Again, um, dwarfing everything like, you know, your McDonald's and your things like that. Quite surprising, isn't it? The curry is number one and kebabs are number two. Do enjoy a kebab, haven't had a kebab in ages, will have to get on that. Look at that. Chomapoline points for the quote. Anyway, we'll have a quick skiz through the ingredients. As always, I cannot read them because these energy lightsaving bulbs, the whatever they do, keep the green sheep happy. They're fucking useless to read by. They're so dark. Anyway, uh, 55 minutes, fan, uh, 190 degrees Celsius. We cannot for the Fahrenheit. Uh, it gas mark six. 55 minutes. 55 minutes for best results cooked from frozen. Following instructions are guidelines only. Please ensure product is thoroughly cooked and piping hot before serving. What's piping? I mean, define where, where did that phrase come from? Piping hot. Is it to do with smoking? I don't know. Anyway, contents, potato fries, 46%. Not necessarily a good start there when you consider that the main part of this product should be fries. Um, potatoes, sunflower oil, modified potato starch, um, rice, rice flour, potato starch again, salt dextrin, raising agents, sodium um, carbonates, wow, okay, um, diphosphates, dextrose, thickener, thickener for what? Xanthan gum, that would be a thickener. Oh, hello. Um, paprika extract. So that is down to there. I mean, I know it's only a two chili rating, but two chili, come on. So I expect there to be something else. It can't just be that. Oh, my mouth is gluey. Paprika extract, turmeric um, extract, single cream. Holy cow. Milk, milk, uh, milk, sorry, cooked seasoned chicken pieces, 10%. Um, Chicken breast, 92%. So 92% of the 10%. <laughs> oh, it's funny how they did all their figures, isn't it? Uh, May starch, sugar, dry glucose, uh, dry glucose syrup, um, garlic granules, ooh, 
uh, ground coriander, smoked paprika, salt, uh, ground cumin seed, ground cinnamon, cinnamon, ground uh, black pepper, flavorings, tomato powder, uh, allspice, acidity regulator, citric acid, chili powder, and chili sauce. Right, so I'm not going to read any more of that, but that means we have the paprika at the top, and then we have those two things there. So, there should be a little dash of heat in this, because think about it, when you've finished, you know, having your kebab constructed for you, um, they would have generally asked you after, you know, um, your, your salad choice, what do you want? Do you want mild chili sauce or hot chili sauce? Obviously, the only answer there is to go for hot chili sauce. So there should be a level of heat in this, which is why I went for these over a couple of the other ones I have not yet tried, such as the Philadelphia cheese um, steak loaded fries. I think that sounds like it could have potential. Um, so yeah, there should be heat in it. Obviously, I never get garlic mayonnaise because while I am a big fan of the mayonnaise, I don't like garlic. How much is in it? It says... Uh, in a creamy garlic sauce and mozzarella cheese. Well, I can't see that it's that strong. Um, but it's not that I don't like garlic. It's that I cannot handle the smell on me afterwards. I know that sounds strange, but yeah. So the garlic was only kind of up there. So this should be all right. So anyway, as always, I do this series of videos in real time. Let's go downstairs. The oven should be preheated now. Uh, let's pop the top. Get a whiff of it, see if we can smell, well, heat uh, and garlic, and then we'll bang it in the oven for 55 minutes. But Marge, I want it now. Also, uh, generally when you do these, it makes you take the um, cellophane off for the top, uh, from the top of the product for the last five minutes to kind of crispen it up. It doesn't want you to do that with these. I don't know if that's some reflection of the fact that it wants to be kebab-esque like, but you know, who am I? to argue with instructions. As always, I would personally suggest that you add more cheese to these things because cheese goes with everything and everything can never have too much cheese on it. But since this is generally the first time that I'm trying it, we're gonna try it all natural the way it was intended to see what it's like. So let's go downstairs, hopefully the oven is preheated and bang this bad boy in. So it's a pinch after quarter past one. I forgot my phone, that's upstairs, but we can rectify that in a moment. I've actually remembered to put it on a baking tray again for once. Sorry about my shoes. They do not every week, I am aware of that. Um, so I don't get horrific third degree burns because when these things come out, well, yeah, they're lethal. Um, as I always like to say, this is free therapy. I've often thought about using that noise as my ringtone. Seriously, true story, no guff, because I know it would piss everyone off. <laughs> right, so, it looks half decent. It does look half decent. And I can tell you now, having pierced the, um, the cellophane, there is a smell. There's a smell of a lot of garlic. Yeah, garlic is the predominant smell. I can definitely smell some form of seasoning on the chicken, but yeah, it does smell quite garlicky. Garlic and chips. I don't know, maybe maybe um, that's a thing and I just don't know about it. So we're gonna bind this in. So it's 20 past, which means, uh, what, 10 past? 10 past, um, 10 past two, I should say, should be time for us to eat it. And I say us, I mean me and Robert, obviously not you. <laughs> so bind that in. And then I've got a new update for, hang on, right, so that's in, so, yeah, 10 past-ish uh, should be a, a good one. We're going to leave that here so we can do a um, comparison between the actual product and the box. I'd be very interested to see if it looks like that. But generally, these do match up their covers quite well. Anyway... Welcome to Eddie's Bar. I have one new addition to Eddie's... I still need to crack into this bad boy. Um, one new addition to Eddie's Bar. I have Bullseye. Their stuff is pretty good. It's only a two chilli rating. I know, as I said, generally I don't get out of bed for anything less uh, than three. But I do make exceptions for hot sauce because... You know, I just I just love hot sauce, so I'm I'm happily gonna take a hit in the heat department, so I can try as many different variants as I can. Louisiana um, Chipotle um, by hot sauce by Bullseye. Yep, I do have a few of theirs. They do have this is an absolute banger. They do have form, so yeah, that's why obviously 
And also chicken nuggets. I don't care if it's only two chili rating. I like to literally um, just get as many little sauce containers as I can and have like five different hot sauce for dips on my nuggets. So um, hopefully that's going to be uh, quite nice. I think I'll try it tonight when I have my hot and spicy Morrison's chicken strips, which is my Friday night tea of choice. Right. Anyway, uh, I, will, I know you look forward to the weather. It's raining right now, which is good. I absolutely tanked down last night during the night. I mean, like proper hard driving rain. It's about 16 degrees. Basically, everything's coming up in Millhouse. But yeah, though, we are going to get lightning uh, and wind, which is a little bit of a concern. You know, careful what you wish for, because where I live, literally an asthmatic ant can gently blow on the power lines and it knocks your power out. So basically, every single one of my power bricks is currently on charge in case I have to rely on my data uh, when I get up early in the morning to reset my clock to work mode and watch the latest episode of Friday Night Tights. So we shall go back upstairs and uh, hopefully in about 55 minutes this is going to be a winner winner chicken kebab loaded fries dinner. Right so quarter past one and pretty much because I did go and get my phone um, to time it we are good to go all I can say is my god it smells garlicky in here let's make some room because I don't want to horrifically burn myself yeah it smells really really garlicky in here now I can smell some other types of seasoning and stuff like that as you would expect but predominant smell is garlic right Whew. wow every time Right. Drink. So, I have to say, I'm a little bit kind of. The idea of eating coleslaw, it's just red and white cabbage coleslaw, hot, I find a bit unnerving. Right, let's. There's a definite other smell going on in there. There's a definite other smell going on in there. You can see the cheese chicken I can smell the coleslaw actually I can smell the uh, definitely smell garlic which is obviously mixed in with the mozzarella what's the other smell actually it is the chicken <laughs> I'll take that back right let's take this upstairs and see what this bad boy is like Actually, to be fair, the chips always come out really, really well in these. Fire extinguisher of choice, probably too strong a descriptive term for this. Hang on, we'll just take a look. Product. Box. Product. Box. To be fair, it somewhat looks like it. I mean, obviously, they've just been rather more enthusiastic with um, how much dressing they put on it. It's the recycling over there on the box. But... Fire extinguisher of choice is these little mini bottles, 250ml, so I will be needing two of them, of um, supermarket knockoff diet lemonade. Because now I can't even get, um, at least from Asda, their, their diet lemonade in cans. This shit's getting ridiculous now. So they stopped uh, knockoff supermarket lil and now I can't get diet lemonade. Or actually, I, even I wouldn't drink it. Can I get regular lemonade in cans there either? And I don't drink it from bottles because that shit goes flat. Anyway, let's take this bad boy upstairs and see what it tastes like. Alrighty then, let's go. Now, here's the thing. I'm in a confined area now and my God, my mouth's gone now. I'm not going to deny, my mouth's gone. But my God, this smells extremely garlicky, which... I mean, it would have been nice if they gave you a sachet. I know they don't normally with these things. And that the garlic sauce was an option for you to put on it. Because, let's be fair, um, garlic sauce is an option when you actually get a kebab. Um, although, apparently, I'm the only person who doesn't put it on there. So you saw it downstairs. It's not as generously dressed as it is on the box. But these things never are. So, before I get into it, we're going to try. We're going to try a fry first. Just because. Mm. The fries, or chips if you will, because I'm English, and these things always come up millhouse. They really, really totally do. The 
It's not that I don't like garlic. Like I said, it's the smell on me afterwards. But therefore that means I don't eat too much of it. There's a little bit of heat coming off those chips. That's weird. Um, obviously there's hot sauce in here somewhere, so it had to be somewhere. But yeah, so maybe I might find this a little bit overpowering. Let's try a piece of seasoned chicken. So does it taste like chicken kebab meat? Yes, it does. That's very strange, in a good way. Um, I'm not saying it's identical, and there's a bit of heat coming off the chicken. There is a little bit. I mean, it's not hot, especially if I'm saying it's not hot, then it's not hot. But there is heat coming off the chicken. I can feel it in my mouth and a little tickle at the back of my throat. But that chicken, whatever seasoning they've done, it properly, properly, and this is a good thing, tastes like chicken kebab meat. <laughs> This is boding well. Right, let's go straight into a bit with um, mozzarella sauce and uh, some chips and get a piece of chicken and see what it's like. Um, two tears in a bucket. Mmm. That's not bad. I really like that. I can definitely, I can definitely taste the coleslaw cabbage in that. Let's have a bit by itself just to confirm that. Mmm. And it's alright, because I was worried about it, you know, hot coleslaw. Coleslaw's not something that should be hot, but it's alright. But, it is very, very garlicky. There is no getting around that, um, that little chestnut. But, actually, I can taste the mozzarella in there as much as I can taste the garlic. The chicken. Excuse me, my manners, where am I? Where are they, I should say, I'm a pig. The chicken is the winner here. Um, yeah, it properly tastes like kebab meat. It properly, properly tastes like kebab meat. Um, palate cleanse. It comes together quite well. Excuse me, Winnie Pops. I was worried about the coleslaw, but it totally worked. It's very garlicky, but I'm not finding it overpowering which I was worried about there is heat going on in here let's get a bit of everything got a bit of coleslaw um, chicken sauce cheese oh thought you got away didn't you get a bit of everything I don't know how I'm gonna fit this in fuck it <laughs> oh. Right, you've got to remember, this is a ready meal, and it's loaded fries. There's that tickle of heat again. There's that tickle of heat. Um, so it's never going to be gourmet. Big lash of heat. Put two chilli right at the back of my throat then. However, it's quite difficult to eat because of how the coleslaw is mixed in there with the uh, mozzarella, I believe I have a little sniffle, mozzarella and garlic. But they've nailed what they set out to do. It tastes like a chicken kebab. Hmm. I'd recommend it. It's not as nice um, as the Carolina Reaper loaded fries, obvious reasons. I'd say it's probably, I'd say it's probably as warm as and on time with the Frank's hot sauce one, but they've totally nailed a kebab loaded fries. 
that was a big chunk of just the sauce by itself. It is very garlicky. It's not as overpowering as I thought, I thought it would be. Um, I can taste the mozzarella in it. It's got a nice creamy um, texture going on. More chicken. Mmm. Well played, Iceland. The chicken. The chicken is the um, the icing on the cake. It tastes like kebab meat. Kebab chicken. It really, really does. It's a bit difficult to eat because the coleslaw and the sauce kind of mashes your fries up a bit. But mm. honestly, chicken kebab loaded fries. I definitely recommend giving it a whirl. Um, whether you like it or not, <clears throat> your mileage may vary. There is heat. I've got heat going on at the back of my throat. Do you know what? The coleslaw's all right. Yeah. I recommend this. I definitely recommend this. I was in two minds. It's certainly better than those bloody fries I had at um, Burger King. Excuse me, massive Windy Pops. But I would definitely recommend this. Triple Windy Pops. I was in, I was, you know, in two minds. I would definitely recommend it. It just somehow all comes together and works. My God, though, I can feel the garlic now and I can taste the garlic and um, I'm going to pong like a bastard later on. But hey, at least no vampire's going to get his, uh, going to get into me. Anyways, always, I love to know what you think, especially if you've had this. And yeah, I do recommend this. Chicken kebab loaded fries by Iceland. Chops are good. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later.